Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we're going to talk a little bit about um, something that, of course, is not official yet, but is of uh, interest, I think, to Windows 11 users or future Windows 11 users. So, of course, a lot of the um, problems, a lot of the rant against Windows 11 came a lot with the minimum requirements that are very high and that actually, you know, blocks a lot of systems from actually being uh, there. Now, we learned that uh, John Chen, CEO of Surge uh, Research at Trend Focus, is revealing that Microsoft is now pushing manufacturers to have SSD drivers, solid state drives, in every PC they sell and to drop the old magnetic hard drives as a boot drive. So what this means is that old magnetic hard drive can still exist in a system for the high capacity they have, but the boot, the main boot drive for Windows needs to be an SSD. This is pretty much what they want. Now, what that says is that it would, apparently, um, there would be some possibility that within the next versions, that's next year, uh, either uh, Sun Valley 3 or even Sun Valley 4 in 2024, in one of those two versions, it could actually be mandatory to have a solid state drive. That means that if you want to have a Windows 11 install, the main boot drive, the one that Windows is on, needs to be an SSD. That would actually be added to the minimum requirements within the next couple of years. So if you already find that the minimum requirements are very high, now add to the fact that you'll have to have an SSD in order to have Windows boot on. Uh, a minimum requirement that adds another layer of minimum requirements. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, nothing official, of course. It's really uh, just that with the way Microsoft is pushing right now, they're thinking that that might actually be a minimum requirement that's going to be added to Windows 11 with time. Uh, SSD drives are, of course, more expensive than standard drives but they of course offer much higher performance and that's i understand the reason behind the fact that they would like to have a ssd drive mandatory in windows 11 to make it faster it's very simple so uh that is kind of interesting here will that happen that's another story but you know i mean more and more machines now come with ssds and so um you know what they would like is the minimum requirement for space is 64 gigabytes so you know the idea behind it is well put windows even if it's on a small ssd put windows on a solid state drive so it's faster uh, but then your machine can have a second hard drive then that one could be a magnetic hard drive for the storage capacity so uh, this is going to be interesting and you know as the time goes by hopefully we're going to see that the uh, prices of the ssd drives might actually want to go down eventually when Maybe things get a little better uh, and supply chain gets better. But that would add a new layer of minimum requirements. Uh, not only would now you would you now have to have a uh, at least 8th generation Intel, but you would have to have an SSD as the main boot drive. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.